to me, Nikki Z. Um, I'm going to do an apology first. I promised you guys I would make a lactic acid demonstration video. Well, here's what happened. Um, two days after I promised that and uploaded a video for you guys, my air conditioning broke. And I live in an apartment complex. There's only one maintenance man. It took him a week, a whole week during summer, no air conditioning, to finally get it fixed. They had to order a part and have it shipped. Now, they should have just gave me a new water heater unit thing, but instead, they just got the part, fixed it, and um, <clears throat> five days ago, it broke again because they didn't get a new one. This thing's over 40 years old is what the maintenance man told me. So he should have just replaced it, but I guess the manager was being frugal and decided to uh, just buy a part for a really, really old AC slash water heater unit. So it broke. It's hot. Um, I had a heat rash. Like, it was so hot in my apartment. We went days again without air conditioning. So I have... And I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can see it a little bit and I can feel it still. I have a heat rash and it's like on my arms. It's on my back. Um, I definitely pampered my face. <laughs> like I really pampered my face. So it's gone from my face, but I do have a little bit on my neck. So I will not be putting the lactic acid on my neck. I'm just not going to do it. I waited for that to clear up because I didn't really want to irritate my skin any more than it obviously already was. So... Anywho, for those of you who do get a heat rash, I will suggest using the e.l.f. Uh, soothing serum and the nourishing night cream. These have like, co not coconut, I keep saying coconut for some reason. I, anyways, I've been saying it for days. I'm like, oh, cucumber, coconut. Um, it has cucumber in it, it has aloe. It's great, it's very soothing and calming for your skin. So that is what I use on my face to help heal the crap that was on my face because it hurt really freaking bad and I was like freaking out because I'm like what's wrong with me like do I have skin cancer like what's going on and I didn't change my regimen at all so I was like it's not my products it's something else and sure enough it was a heat rash thanks to Google so now I know um yeah so there's that now I'm gonna do a, a brief disclaimer I will be using the Beverly Hills it's a ASDM Beverly Hills lactic acid I am not being sponsored, guys. I have never posted a sponsored video ever in my life. Like, I have, I never get paid for it. Um, I think in my, like, Google AdSense on my blogger account, I have, like, 70 bucks, but it took three years to get $70, so it's definitely not even really worth it to have AdSense. Um, they don't pay you until you reach 100, and you have a certain amount of time to do that, or else it starts over, apparently. So, I'm not getting paid for this. Um, obviously, skincare, I'm learning. It's a journey, so I'm taking you guys with me. But makeup and stuff, that's my hobby. I love it. So I have a passion. I want to share that with you guys. Hopefully, I can help somebody else out. Um, but now I know you're, you guys are like, okay, you've never been sponsored. I do. If you click on my link, okay, I'm not going to lie about it, guys. I get a commission if you purchase one of these or something from their site. However, it's not cash. So I do not actually receive that money. That's, it's, I think it's like 3% of a purchase or 1%. I'm not sure what it is, but it's really small. If enough people purchase through my link, then I can use the money in store with them. So to buy more products to review instead of actually getting a cash handout. So I'm not gonna be receiving cash. I get products. I'm, it would probably take me, at this rate, like I'm not gonna get anything. But I do have it there. Um, so, no, they're not paying me to do this. This is all my opinion. I was using a different brand. And I almost had a chemical burn from the last brand that I used. And it scared the shit out of me. So, I did some research and found out um, that company was overseas. When buying products overseas, you don't know what you're getting. You just don't. So, I saw that uh, Beverly Hills, it's like... 9.50 for a two ounce bottle I think of this or something like that it was really really cheap you know and it had great reviews so I was like okay that might be a nice alternative I could see the ingredients in it I bought it I like it it's nice 
it's really nice. So I'm very pleased <laughs> with the results. I know what I'm putting on my face. Whew! I can't believe that I, I, yeah, I'm still learning on the skin journey, guys. This is like new to me. So anywho, I'm going to go ahead and get into this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wash my face real fast. And what I'm going to use, I've already mentioned this in another video. I'm gonna wash my face using the La Cura Face Care Hydrating Facial Cleanser. And I will be using my Foreo. Now this right here is super cheap and it's pH balanced, which is phenomenal. So you have to learn the importance of pH balanced stuffs. So I'm gonna go ahead and Stop the video so I can do my face. Uh, try to conserve my battery. I'll be right back though. All right, and I'm sorry, there's like a little bar over here. I have this camera. If I showed you guys how ghetto my little setup is over here, you would laugh. But I have a few boxes propped up and then there's a mirror so I can make sure you guys can see me. And anyways, it's kind of crazy, but I have this like, I don't know, this like little shelf and it has little rungs in it. I'm um, going to go ahead, get my Foreo wet, Woo. splash water all over the place because I'm a dirt, and I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to go over my face with this Foreo and just give a massage, and I wish it would like kind of vibrate my voice a little bit because that would be hilarious, but yeah, I'm going to just make sure it's very clean. Make sure I got most of the makeup, if not all of the makeup, off from last night. It's very, very hard to get everything off, so. Oh, that tickles my nose, though, every, ugh, every time. <laughs> I've used this on my boyfriend, and he sneezes every time I put it on his nose. It's just, like, gross. I'm like, oh, thanks for sneezing on me, babe. Appreciate it all the love let me tell you so yeah just you know it doesn't really lather up so the liqueur stuff I mean it's great but it is there's not like a ton of sulfates in it so don't expect like some rich lather but you'll feel amazingly clean I promise it's so nice I can't believe how cheap that stuff was like it's the ingredients are legit checks out it's good and it's I picked it up at all these. Like, it is so cheap. I like pleasant surprises like that. Okay. Now, I'm going to rinse off my face real fast, and then I'll be right back. All right, guys. Hey, I am back. I just washed my face. I rinsed it off, and now I'm going to pat it dry. And I'm going to mumble into a towel a little bit. So, I'm sorry. I swear that like Cura stuff is awesome. Like I hope you guys can see how bright my face looks. I mean my lighting is just really crappy though. But yeah, can you guys see that? Like it's so refreshing and pretty and clean. And it's not like a squeaky clean. Like it just feels really soft. Ugh, that stuff is so good. So good. I bought four more. <laughs> I have backups for my backups for my backups, guys. Just in case I go back and all these doesn't have it, because sometimes they do that, and I'm like, <gasps> like I found this amazing pesto once, and I was so hurt that they didn't have it anymore. It was delicious. All right, now what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to take some cotton balls. I'm gonna take one at a time. I'm gonna take some rubbing alcohol. This is 50% isopropyl. Isopropyl? I don't know how to say that. Mm. Anyways going to saturate this cotton ball and then I'm going to rub my face. Now what this is going to do is create a clean canvas for your chemical stuffs that you're about to, for your acid that you're about to like rub all over your face. Um, it's just like that stuff really cleaned my face as it was and I don't think you guys can, I'll just wait till I'm finished and show you guys. Um, but what this is going to do is this going to pick up whatever dirt, debris, you name it, that was left over that my wash did not pick up. 
because I mean if you have junk on your face you can't really expect the product to do what it's supposed to it's kind of like tanning and then putting a sticker on you you know if there's like something there it's not the Sun is not going to or whatever if you choose a bed you know um, the lights are not going to tan that spot so it's the same just want to make sure that you have a fresh clean canvas pick up all that dirt and junk all right now I don't know if you guys can see that but there's a little bit of dirt not a whole lot which is great the Foreo is fantastic so yeah it's very minimal but you know still all right now I'm gonna let that dry for a second I'm just kind of wave my hands around because I smell like rubbing alcohol which is not very sexy whatsoever and for my solution I'm gonna actually mix because I use baking soda just your standard Dollar General Walmart whatever baking soda it's like a dollar maybe um, I'm gonna mix a cup this is my boyfriend's solid snake cup I made him for I think his birthday or anniversary we did something special um, yeah he likes Metal Gear and you know Metal Gear Solid and snake you know all that fun stuff so it has solid snake on it how cute is that yeah I even made him a matching mouse pad to go with it but I'm gonna go ahead and mix this well <laughs> mix these together Ooh, magic right now I'm gonna put some water in here I'm gonna have a solution of half water half baking soda you do not need a lot so what this is going to do is it's actually going to stop the chemical reaction of the lactic acid so that way you don't burn your freaking face off because that's not a fun time and everybody's got to have a face right and if you're watching this and you don't have a face I am sorry didn't mean to offend so I'm just gonna mix this just to make sure um, you know everything's good Another thing I do is I take my phone. Yeah, got a little bit of water on it. Take my phone. Um, I have a Note 4, but every cell phone has like a timer. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of my email and set up a timer real quick. All right. I don't know what's up with the fart noises. I'm sorry. I've had too much coffee. I'm going to do it for three minutes. And I'm not going to start it yet. I'm just going to leave it for a little bit till I apply my solution. All right, time for the solution. So, yes, this is the ASDM Beverly Hills stuff. I use, to apply that, I use these, like, little Asian cotton pads. They're squares. Um, they do not leave fiber which is why I like them. I use them on my nails. I do gel. Um, so I have like a UV lamp. I build my own nails, which is fun. And I use these little things. I, I mean, I linked to them in my other video, so I'm sure I'm going to be linking that again. But they're just like little squares. I grab about, let's see, there's about four here. And I'm going to fold it over. And I'm going to take the magic stuff that makes you look and feel pretty. And I'm going to just kind of get it onto my pads here. Now, I'm sure you guys are wondering how much, like how many peels you can do with a two ounce. Oh boy, you can do a lot, a lot. So, all right. Now, I'm gonna touch my timer and get it ready so as soon as I start touching my face with this it's going to be timed so I'm gonna click start there we go now avoid your eye area and that's just because it's super super sensitive thin skin avoid your uh, avoid avoid it with a D avoid your eyebrows unless not having any is your thing but you know I mean to each their own so I'm just gonna like rub it avoid my lips of course anywhere where there's like soft very thin skin tissue so get my nose
And then we just kind of hang out for a second and, um, you know, just kind of chill out. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, well, first of all, I should probably answer some questions. I know what you're thinking. If you haven't done this before, you're probably thinking, oh my God, it's acid. Does it burn? No, it feels uncomfortable, but not like, not like a thousand fire ants or like chewing at your face. It's more like, um, you know how you use like a charcoal, like a heating mask, kind of? It's kind of like that same like kind of weird tingly feeling, I guess. So, yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and throw that away. And then I'm going to wait till my three, min ugh, three minutes is up and then I'll come back. It'll be just a second. All right, guys, so my timer is about to go off. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use that baking soda and water solution real quick. Oh, there we go. And I'm going to put it in my hands. I'm going to run some kind of cool water to splash my face with here in just a sec. And I'm going to be just kind of patting this on my face. Nope, it doesn't burn. It feels weird. But it actually doesn't burn. So, and now I'm going to actually rinse my face with water. I'm using lukewarm water. dry. Um, I made a huge mess with water, so it's always fun. All right, so that's it. I just literally rinsed the solution off with water, just lukewarm water. And um, I'll see you guys in just a moment.